morning winners Matt Moore here and you can't turn your phone while live so I am live right now um, if anyone jumps on if I am upside down or if I'm sideways please let me know because it looks right side up to my to me um, but I could be wrong so um, as I see people jump on like I said if I happen to be upside down or something please let me know so that I don't look stupid um, Eric Boatman. what's going on Eric uh, Klein, um, if I am upside down or if I am sideways, please let me know. Um, from what I can see on my screen, I am right side up, but I could be wrong. So uh, just comment below or or something. Let me know if I'm if I look okay. And if not, then. What's going on, Jermaine? Again, if you guys want to comment, let me know that I look okay. Um, I'm not upside down or in landscape mode, just like or portrait mode. Just let me know. Um, but to be honest, I'm in one of those moods today. I just don't give a fuck. So, <laughs> um, so I made a post yesterday, and and I'm gonna get to the topic of my video, which is there's a secret bank account right now that people are stealing from you, and you don't even know about it. And I'm gonna get to that in a second. But first, I made a post yesterday about basically saying in a roundabout way, in a very nice, gentle, loving way, that um, if you want higher quality people in your life, you have to become a higher quality person. You have to become a better person, essentially. Right? Sorry, I keep turning my head because I'm getting uh, messages on my on my phone. Yep, again, if you guys are watching, if I'm sideways, please let me know so I can adjust my phone. Um, I am on my phone, I'm out on my laptop right now, so um, again, just let me know. Um, but anywho, basically what I'm saying is if you want a, if you want a better significant other in your life, if you want higher quality customers, if you want higher quality um, business partners, then you've got to resonate at the level that they're at, right? You can't stay where you are, where you're at currently and expect to be able to attract that higher level of people, okay? If you are constantly in shitty relationships with the same type of shitty people, then that talks a lot about where you're at, okay? Now, here's the thing. You may not consciously be wanting to attract those type of people, but there's so much that goes on in our subconscious mind that runs our life on autopilot, and, and you need to change your programming that's in here, okay? So, that should make sense. That's not... That's not confusing at all, what I just said, okay? So, if it is, again, comment below, ask questions. Um, uh, basically, the short version <laughs> is that if you want to attract higher quality customers, clients, significant other, whoever it may be, then you have to become a better version of yourself because you do not attract who you want, you attract who you are, okay? And that is across the board. Sometimes you get lucky and you just fall into a great circle of people, but guess what? If they're at a higher place in their life than you are, they're gonna automatically elevate you up to where they're at, okay? So, I had a few people that were a little salty about that, right? Um, and basically the general consensus of the people that were salty was, I shouldn't have to change. I shouldn't have to change for anyone, blah, blah, blah. Here's the thing, guys. You don't have, you, you don't change who you are. You take what you are and you make it better. You don't compromise your morals. You don't compromise your, your, who you are as a person. You take what you are and you make it better right that's it's, it's it's that should be pretty simple a lot of times people feel like they need to change for someone just because you're becoming a better version of yourself doesn't mean you're changing who you are right i'm still the same matt more that i was 10 years ago but i'm a better matt more i'm a stronger matt more i'm a tougher matt more i work with a higher quality of people now at, uh, 10 years later than i did before my morals are still the same. I'm still the same person. I'm just a better version of who I was, right? And you guys can do the same. So 
I don't want to hear more garbage about, well, I shouldn't have to change. Well, if you're unhappy about where you're at in life, then yeah, you do need to change. If you're happy with, with where you're at, stay where you're at. That's totally cool. But stop bitching and complaining about the results you don't have when you're not willing to change. Now, the topic of my video was about the secret bank account that people are stealing from and you don't even know that it exists. Most people know about their physical bank account. You're taught about money, well, more or less. You know that a bank is where you stick your money at, you collect some interest and stuff like that, right? But you also have an emotional bank account. And it's something that people steal from all the time and that you never realize it. And a lot of times, you're stealing from your own emotional bank account. You're not, you're, you're letting other people take it and then you're taking it from, your, from yourself, right? You guys have to realize that you have only a, a certain amount of creative energy every single day. You have a finite amount of willpower every single day. It makes no sense to spend it on things that you're not getting a return on, right? You haven't been taught in school on how to focus on actions that get you a return on your investment, right? If you are going to work out, there are certain exercises that are going to give you, um, so <laughs> I'm going to, uh, let's see if this is better. Am I right side up? Am I upside down? I've been sideways this whole time and no one has told me, um, but I have no idea. So you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to keep going. I don't care. I'm in a mood today. So there are certain ways. Yeah. So it looks like I'm going to go on portrait mode today. Sorry. I apologize that I was sideways, but you know what? To be honest, I've seen like five or six people jump on and then you said anything. So cool. That totally works. Um, but at the end of the day, there are certain ways to make money that make more sense than other ways. You're going to get a bigger return on your investment doing certain actions than you will doing other actions. It's the same in um, working out. Some exercises are going to get you a better return than doing other exercises, right? You're not taught as a kid just to critically think and say, okay, which one is going to give me the biggest return on my time and my energy and so on and so forth. So, Every day you have an emotional bank account and every day people are making withdrawals and you're the ones that, uh, that controls where the withdrawals and where the deposits come from. Okay. Stop letting people steal from your emotional bank. If you want to increase your emotional bank account, then you know what you need to do realistically? You need to get on a personal development program. You need to start reading books books that were written by great authors throughout history that are going to elevate you to where you're at right now to where you want to be in life, okay? Now, as you start to do stuff like that, you're going to, it's going to shock you at how different the people around you act, think, talk. You start seeing things through a completely different filter. And you know what? This might shock you, but you might even like it, right? So... Um, be very cautious of who's making withdrawals of your time, your energy, and your emotional well-being, okay? So, um, that's all I've got for today. I got a lot of shit to get done. I love you guys. Feel free to reach out anytime if you guys have any questions. If you're watching this on YouTube, hey, sorry it was sideways, but subscribe and like this video anyways because why not? So, have a fantastic day. Talk to you guys soon.